Today, India is a bold, uh, ambitious India. The government is planning to spend nearly 1.4 trillion dollars putting together uh, physical infrastructure in the country over the next uh, five years or so. The Gati Shakti program that they came up with uh, outlines some of these details that I'm sure all of you are aware of. And technology is expected to play a pivotal role in all of this. The construction industry is unique in the sense that it brings together a number of different agencies, owner, owner operators, design consultants, project management consultants, contractors, subcontractors, suppliers, all of whom sort of come together uh, to deliver an infrastructure asset. When you put together one asset, sometimes there are interfering other agencies that need to get involved. Uh, take for example any sort of infrastructure asset, I mean hindrance clearance, whether it is forest clearance, land acquisition, utility shifting and inability to do that effectively has led to a lot of these delays uh, in uh, and time and cost overrun. Uh, in putting together these infrastructure assets. Uh, MOSPI has enough statistics on this, uh, on, on, on some of these uh, issues. Uh, so we believe technology can play a role in multiple different ways, ensuring that all of these stakeholders are, are able to get and give data in one single platform. Uh, we believe it will, will be a strong enabler to ensure that um, some of these coordination challenges are eliminated. Uh, today's India is also a digital India, so willing to embrace cloud and cloud-based technologies uh, quite uh, aggressively. The Gati Shakti portal talks about some of these things. I mean, all of us who are living in India um, are used to the idea that, you know, as soon as a road is relayed, um, is when you will realize that some other utility will come and cut across the road for uh, sewer or, or, or electrical or other uh, utilities like that. Uh, we're hoping these things will be a thing of the past as these digital assets are put along with the physical assets in India. Uh, so that uh, the, the coordination across these agencies uh, can be much more effective and efficient. Uh, in short, I'm saying that uh, the technology can play a role all the way from concept, design uh, management, uh, project construction and controls, uh, to operations and maintenance uh, of our, uh, of our, of our uh, infrastructure. So, so the technology can play a role in all of this and uh, we believe that the uh, government is, is open and is creating uh, an ecosystem and an enabling environment to make sure this happens. Bentley Education has made all of the Bentley solutions available for uh, students and academics free since last year. This means that um, all the uh, students um, can now avail of uh, and get aware, learn and become uh, proficient in using the Bentley solutions, whether it is for design, uh, whether it is for um, uh, design analysis, whether it's for collaboration and, and other uh, areas like that. Um, this also means that uh, the academics uh, will have access to the Bentley solutions and we are hoping it will lead to some sort of natural extensions and feedback into the Bentley uh, innovation ecosystem. Uh, I am part of the Construct Helix group of Bentley and the NPAL solution uh, which we have developed itself has been developed sort of working very closely with our uh, end users. We constantly look at our end users, look at how they use our solutions and use that uh, and benchmark that to see how we can constantly add capabilities to the endpoint solution. So in that sense, just by using the solutions and just giving us feedback, um, we've been able to um, enhance the endpoint solution. In fact, some of the positive feedback and the good uh, stickiness that we've been able to achieve with the NPAL solution is because we work closely with the professionals, understand how they use the solution and enhance it uh, to make sure that uh, they're able to use it more effectively. I'd say the answer to that is a yes and a no. Uh, in our own experience, the top management, the CXOs, uh, in fact CIOs and CDOs who are coming now, are quite aware of the benefits of technology, are quite happy to adopt it and quite interested in figuring out how digital transformation will, will bring benefits to the business. And at the bottom, the entry-level engineers who are effectively millennials at this point, uh, almost expect technology to be part of their job and you know are, are quite open to giving and getting data uh, in digital forms. We sometimes face some challenges with the, with the middle management, but uh, there are many ways we have seen that uh, challenge uh, addressed. Uh, one of which is that uh, we do, uh, sometimes we do what I call as bite-size adoption of technology rather than uh, a big bang adoption. 
uh, again speaking with the context of NPulse, uh, NPulse has a number of different modules. Uh, we've done what I call as a horizontal cut, wherein we'll take one module and uh, 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 deploy it across the entire portfolio of projects. Uh, or we've done what I call as a vertical cut, where we've deployed NPulse in one project, uh, all of the modules. And as people see benefits, as they get sort of the ROI, and then naturally we've seen that people are more willing to change and adapt and adopt the technology. Uh, sometimes we've tried nudges uh, um, the, uh, for, for engineers and uh, uh, pe people in projects. Um, we've kind of encouraged uh, our clients and customers to use KRAs to technology adoption as a way to sort of nudge the adoption. Uh, for external stakeholders, uh, we've nudged them to try and put them as a contractual requirement almost uh, to make sure this uh, uh, technology adoption happens. Uh, all in all, I think it is not an, an unsurmountable problem. Uh, it is just that as our own experience is that as people get the ROI, as people see the benefits, they pivot, they change, they are more open to adopting technology. The government is, uh, is the largest uh, owner <laughs> of uh, infrastructure assets, physical assets uh, in any country, uh, particularly in India. And therefore, the government is in a very strong position to influence tech adoption. Uh, there are case studies available in places like UK and Singapore where the government started mandating uh, the adoption of building information modeling, uh, collaborative uh, design management, collaborative project controls. Um, and that has been, uh, that has created waves of uh, technology adoption and maturity in the industry itself as the industry starts to get more and more professionalized. Uh, so we believe uh, uh, in, in the Indian government is also looking at uh, a lot of these policies if they have not already started enforcing it. Uh, specifically in areas like uh, metro projects and things like that, we are seeing uh, metro operators uh, mandating the use of uh, 3D models to be, uh, coordinated 3D models to be delivered as part of metro projects or even integrated project management systems, IPMS solutions being required to sort of manage and monitor these projects uh, more effectively and efficiently. Uh, we are hoping more of this will continue and therefore the adoption of technology will, uh, with government uh, creating further enabling policies and being a strong influencer, uh, which will further cascade and have a, a, a roll-on effect, not into the private sector and also uh, the other stakeholders, including contractors and consultants, uh, adopting technology and, and using digital uh, as a way to sort of manage their designs, manage their uh, construction and then uh, operate their assets. Uh, I'm not sure I will be the best person to answer this uh, as an, for overall Bentley, but Bentley is the largest provider of uh, technology for uh, infrastructure projects across all uh, sectors. From the NPulse experience, which is part of the Construct Helix group on Bentley, I can tell you specifically that the NPulse solution has been deployed in a number of uh, commercial and residential real estate projects, uh, metro projects, renewable energy like solar projects, transmission lines, substations, um, and water distribution type projects. In fact, uh, the NPulse solution today is present in, in more than 250 plus projects uh, uh, across India, Africa, and Middle East and Asia. Uh, so definitely Bentley uh, solutions are present in, in uh, practically all the sectors uh, apart from the linear infrastructure projects that you alluded to. Bentley does this uh, one of two different ways. One is of course make the Bentley solution itself flexible and robust enough that it can be configured to various processes that are uh, regional in nature. And this configuration can be done by the Bentley uh, delivery team itself or through its network of partners and system integrators who have uh, a greater uh, on the ground uh, knowledge of local business processes and practices. The second of course is uh, Bentley acquires technologies that have a strong uh, knowledge, awareness and, and, and footprint uh, in, in, a, in a local market. Um, uh, the NPulse solution itself um, is part of uh, Nadi Information Technologies, an IIT Madras incubated company. Uh, NPulse was a made in India solution uh, with uh, understood the uh, Indian construction business 
and knew how to de deliver uh, project controls uh, for the Indian uh, construction environment, bringing mobility, collaboration and project controls uh, into foray. So the Bentley Acceleration Initiatives uh, has acquired the NPAL solution. And now we are able to take advantage of the larger Bentley uh, ecosystem and further enhance the, the NPAL solution um, and, and get it more uh, uh, forward thinking uh, as, uh, as we move the, the industry uh, uh, looking ahead another three to five years. Specifically, we've now uh, a, a integrated the NPAL solution into the Bentley iTwins viewer, which gives us a lot more capability uh, to bringing in information from uh, disparate sources and creating that single source of truth when it comes to better managing uh, construction projects. What I'd say I'm most excited about is uh, to bring the digital twins technology to the Indian market from Bentley. Um, we've seen this wave of growth in, uh, in digitization and construction from CAD and 2D drawings to, to BIM uh, to, to the next leap, which is digital twins, which moves from sort of file-based data transfer to more data-enabled data transfer. Uh, it brings the ability, uh, something that Bentley has been talking about a lot, which is that the industry has to move from what I call as a common data environment where everything is sort of digital, but still sort of a digital kitchen sink where you don't get to understand the impact of uh, the connected pieces of that information. So Bentley's been talking about a connected data environment where you're able to understand what is the future looking impact of uh, an action or a data by one of the stakeholders in the infrastructure project to future looking time and cost or other uh, processes if you will. So bringing this and, and, the, and the digital twins platform from Bentley sort of brings this uh, uh, from the foundational level, from the design level itself uh, through the life cycle of that uh, asset. So bringing digital twins um, is, is something I'm super excited about. Uh, the Digital Twins uh, ecosystem itself is designed to be an open platform. Uh, therefore, it doesn't, whether your, your source of information is a Bentley solution or other solutions that we talked about, whether it is AR, BR or IoT, um, you can plug all of that data sources into, the, into the, the Digital Twins ecosystem and build your own KRAs and KPIs and, and realize better uh, ROI from your uh, technology investments that you already have. Uh, in your portfolio and therefore um, uh, that's I think super exciting that I believe is, is, is the way forward uh, in India.